Uh, you want the flex value. Mm -hmm. I've seen it, uh, uh, No Tail play mid Enigma, dude. He he goes for some really weird builds. I've seen him play like travels into Lotus Orb Enigma. No blink, no BKB. Travels, That's some yeah. big brain shit right there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we call that the Merlini. Well, I might as well just go for technically the most efficient item possible first. Uh, oh, I mean, that's just my foundation. And well, there finally, Bowie's gone fishing, and this time he's going to catch one. Nice. I love Earthshaker. Yeah, I have yeah, to say, I think he's I think, undervalued. Is it just me, or is he a hero that a lot of people gravitate towards when they first like find Dota? Like I can remember when I yes, first like found what Dota was, there were heroes that like I immediately liked. Like I, I instantly mm -hmm. liked Earthshaker. I thought he was I amazing. I think there is something memorable about getting owned by Earthshaker too. When you're in that learning phase and you don't really know all the heroes yet, the first time you get five man echoed <laughs> and you're on the losing team, like it's just natural to go, Okay, who's that guy? I, I gotta do try that, that guy. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> you know, so I think that's a driving part of why Earthshaker is such a fixture. It's sort of like Pudge, right? You get hooked by Pudge and eat that first time. Yeah. You're like, well, that yeah. didn't seem fair. How come that guy gets to eat me and pull me away and stuff? I want to be that guy. And then the more I think about it, it's just all the team fight heroes that I, I was drawn towards. The Tide Hunters, the, the Earthshaker. Yeah. I, I just want to be mm -hmm. that guy, I guess. You want the big boom. You want to make the yeah. big turn. So you can be like, yeah, all right, guys, no worries. Trent's yeah, I, here. I got I it. I never yes. wanted to play Pudge. I've never had desire to play that hero. Oh, love it. Five I'm a, I'm I love. Pudge I like Pudge. I played I like a lot Pudge. of Pudge. In I have back I in got, six I got a Pudge games. Spot for Pudge. Six. That's it. Wow. Yeah. I'm on a what about game streak though? with Do you Pudge? have more Techies games than you have Pudge games? Ooh, I might. I played them. No, I, I have so. four. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a good boy. My list of non-played heroes is, you know, it's impressive. <laughs> you know, I've, I've never a touched an amount of techies. I think that hero can be fun. At least in matchmaking. There's yeah. several gross heroes I've never played. Um, I'm a, a healthy member of the community. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, you guys are welcome. <laughs> I All right, well, really like the opener here for a gnome. Beastmaster have, Shaker, a lot of stun. You have vision for the Shaker. Uh, you give Beastmaster a good lane, so even if they go for the same Ursa we saw last game, you can control the Equilibrium a bit so the Beastmaster doesn't feel threatened. Uh, and it looks like Infamous, they are the ones just trying to run around and pick what a Gnome did the last game. They, they literally picked two heroes. So I actually don't like that mentality that much. You know, like, are, are they just taking away heroes that they know a Gnome plays well, or do they really want to play this? I would guess they want to play it. They're probably just like, anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> they're going to take it, and they're going to stomp them even harder. All right? This is the right. ultimate alpha Papita. move after That's losing. True. Papita plays a lot of Mars. So uh, you I go. guess you, you might be Sorry, right. you mean Mariano. Mariano. Canino. Mariano. <laughs> it's, a good, right. it's a good swap, you know. I'm dying bad just, again. I love the way you framed that, Bowie. Like, man, you think they really want to play this? As if the, this is something really, like, out of the box or awful. Like, oh, man. Wouldn't touch these heroes with a 10-foot pole, I tell you. <laughs> Nothing meta about this. I, it feels like they're just copying, dude. I don't know. I, I want some... I want original stuff. You know, Mars 5, give me give me a Gyro 4. Give me a Life Stealer. Well, you can only be so, so original, Bowie, all right? We, you, the, the secret to R&D is a little bit of research before the D, all right? You can't be all true, development. True. Sometimes you got to do the research. How about right now? We're in, a, doctor, we're in a dude. research phase. How, how about uh, Witch Doctor Five? Next pick for unknown. Hmm. Got Ooh. Earth Spirit Mars. Yeah. They've already banned the Undying. Five seconds. Really That's good, going. Uh, Witch Doctor. No, no Witch Doctor on the enemy side, so the Beastmaster doesn't back. get sad. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep, it's a solid snag. They could also CM. I would also be fine with that because same logic. It's like decent enough, and it takes away the CM. But I think the Witch Doctor is better. He enables the Shaker so much. Enchantress. Oh, they're Yeah, because they banned the Chen. That, that's a heavy go. Like, oh, wait, what are they doing? Because they wouldn't pick CM and then ban Chen. So, well, or, or cool, Witch Doctor, though. same logic, right? Yeah. A lot of lane domination potential here. I see Ench and Beastmaster on the same team, and I think, well, these lanes are looking pretty good already. And there yeah, you go. Yeah. Witch Doctor the other way. Now, some additional incentive with those Enchantress creeps. The uh, five seconds stun there on the coconut and on yeah. the boars. <clears throat> I like it. Interesting. It's a solid five pick. 
I haven't seen Inch that much though. So interesting that unknown seconds. opt to gravi gravitate towards it here. Uh, I also think of her with the dispel Five and not not too much yet. You know, no maybe dissuading a potential dark seer pick if somehow it's Mars mid. It's really good versus Ursa uh, if they try to go for it again. The dispel on the overpower. Okay, so that's, yeah, it destroys him. That's really and also good. if you look at Earth Spirit Mars, they actually can't really contest a lot of the bigger creeps either. Like, mm -hmm. what are they gonna like? Mars can like fight it, I guess, but it, it's not like they have a great way of just clearing it out right away, you know? Yeah. Especially because those yeah. creeps are jacked, man. <laughs> Bonus armor and everything. <laughs> True. They were, I mean, I guess they're better against physical damage, but they got so much yeah. HP before the, this change. I think it was like. It was the Clinks patch. One? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Clinks ruined was, them. That was scary. Um, so unknown, they Trolls, need, uh, fans, they need mid mind. and carry, right? This is, yeah, uh, four, three in position five for unknown, unless like a broodmother shows up and they have to beastmaster mid. Uh, they could jug, they could PL. I think one of those two. I think mm. they had the right idea of what Earthspear and Mars are weak against when they did the banning last game, and I think they're going to pick one of those two heroes. True. I like. Oh, by the way, Infamous just Kanka. keep uh, in the back of your mind. Burna likes to play Alchemist, and they did pick Kunkka here. So, you know, maybe yeah. they pick Alchemist. Yeah, they they didn't go for the safe lane pick. Kind of surprised by that. Maybe because they feel like there's enough options left, and they really want the Kunkka. And yeah. Kunkka has been banned after, like, going into fifth pick in a lot of these games. Ten True. Seconds remaining. Yeah. Although, have we really seen Kunkka? Alina. Of, no, that's uh, what I'm saying. Like every game, yeah. we've kind of been like, "Hey, Kunkka looks good." He gets banned out in the final couplet. So. I'm not mm -hmm. terribly surprised, based on that, to see him fourth picked. Um, unknown do have last pick. Again, just a reminder here. All right. They could Mars mid now. Yeah, definitely. Infamous turn I feel like that's down. fairly likely Strong at this point. Spirit. Nope. Uh, oh. But they want the Storm instead. Okay, fair enough. Wow, wow they could Storm into Kunkka, Shaker, Beastmaster. Definitely not a free Storm game. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like the storm, when when unknown has the upper hand, shaker is super seconds. scary because of the echo. But you can also just jump Five the shaker before remain. he initiates when you have the upper hand. So it, Assuming it's, it's Beastmaster like, and Kunkka aren't there to cover him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's it kind of goes both ways. And you, storm is one of those heroes that doesn't really need to go use scepter versus Kunkka just because you can zip the X uh, when, when you see the animation of the X back, so that's kind of good for him. But until level 6, it kinda, it's actually kind of scary to play Storm in that lane. Especially if I shake Oh, hell team. yeah. I mean, that's one of those, I think Storm has to basically just stack and farm the jungle to try to survive while Kunkka runs the show. Pre-6. Wraith King ban... Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I think that Alk is uh, very tempting right now because they have so much uh, like early game pressure around the map with their four heroes on unknown that they could definitely get away with someone who's like a little bit more lax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're tempted to ban the Juggernaut because of how fast they can play, but I, I think as you're saying, the same logic applies the other way. I think Jug is still a very good option, but they also ban the PL themselves, which had me thinking that uh, they're not really into those two anymore, and it might be the Alk. Yeah, I'd like to yeah, see a the Luna game. Beastmaster is pretty pretty annoying for unknown, and with the Storm AOE, maybe they maybe they just don't like the PL anymore. Dire team ban. Yeah, okay. They'll cover themselves anyway. Fair enough. Yagi. So what are Infamous gets? What uh, they don't have last pick. You see this? Is Lark actually an option for them? It's a Beastmaster mm -hmm. Shaker lane, and you have Witch Doctor, so Ten you can get away with most heroes. Hmm. Some are more annoying Five than others, but like remaining. I don't know, like PA kind of comes to mind. Angel plays a lot of more. He plays a lot of Slark and Morphling, and um, I think both heroes are kinda good here. Morph you, as nice. Morphling, you don't care. You don't care about the X. You don't really get bursted, as long as you have vision of the Beastmaster. Uh, even the cast point of the Beastmaster, it's kind of long, so you can always press that button, start morphing. Yeah, and they banned the PA. PA was kind of safe. I, I would have liked that yeah, too. Yeah, she came to mind. 
Okay. They could double down on mobility and do something like the Weaver also. But against the, the vision of the Ten Necro, though. Remaining. And the That's Shaker true. is very scary as Weaver because you'll just get 100 to 0 oh, sometimes, exactly. especially if you ever fall behind. They could life steal her. Uh, they, <laughs> <laughs> they could drown. That classic pairing with the Storm Spirit, the Infest Bobs there, Trent. Great call. <laughs> Um, Angel did play a life stealer game, just saying. Oh, yeah, oh they yeah, actually sure. ursed it into Ench? Yeah. Bleh. Uh, it crossed my mind, and I just I didn't say. And there's boar slows too, there's fissures. Like, all of this is not really fun, Ursa IMO. It's not a game yes. ender, though. Like, the positioning uh -huh. and stuff, True. like, she might not be there. It's. It's not great, but I wouldn't call really it a game ender. But of all the options, I wonder what made them say definitely Ursa Ooh. here. And whoa, yeah, Auntie Magu! Let's go. Well, there's the greed they can get away with because they're heroes. And yeah, all right. I see the Ursa, and they're like, well, I don't really want Alk. So this is the flashier alchemist here. I like this. I actually dislike the anti mage. I'm gonna be <laughs> oh, yeah. honest. Who doesn't right now? Against know, Storm? Like... Get the hell out of here, dude! This is a targeted Ursa. pick against Mr. Jeans. Dude, Ursa shreds anti mage, and they nerfed the the mana region from uh, the, the mana um, the mana drain from anti mage's Q. And also because the orchid being so cheap right now, Storm actually like gets a timing on the anti mage. Like if the anti mage doesn't get a perfect lane, I think Mister Jeans can just kill that anti mage a thousand times before he gets Manta. I I felt One like a known had the draft times, really probably. well. <laughs> All right, three times. <laughs> They have Earth Spirit too. I, I don't know, dude. I think this might be infamous game. Yeah. Bowie, you want to predict the Orchid timing on Storm this game? You want to look like a real god here? Hit me with the timing. When's that Orchid arrive? All right. All right I've go. got a time in my head. What's yours? Go, go. 12.40. Oh, mine was 12.26. <laughs> All right. 14.50. All right. All right. Cool. There we go. We got numbers. Production, write them down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think the anti mage is going to be okay here. I think they've got enough space creators that uh, he's going to get away with a lot. Trent, you got a prediction? I'm going to take Infamous, but I really like this game. I think it's going to be a fun match. Okay. Finally, we'll get to see Infamous in a real slugfest, not a 20 minute game. Gareth, what do we think about the anti mage? Are we excited or are we lukewarm over there? Where are we on the temperature? Oh, that's a difficult question. I, I was kind of leaning towards Bowie and his explanation of the Orchid timing. I've written them all down, by the way. I've got my notepad open. I've got all your timings here, so we'll be able to point out who's correct. And What's who's your wrong, timing? Who's closest? My timing? I was going to go for like 11.48. I'll, I'll write that down as well. Gareth, 11.48. What's yours? Alright, I'm going to take uh, 11.49. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I gotta get in between uh, you and everybody else, you know, because it's, it's gonna be somewhere, you know, in there, so... Uh, it really depends. I mean, there's a chance that he might even just go for, like, a first item Yules. I hope he doesn't. Just because of Kunkka, but it, for him to, in order for him to go for, like, a first item Yules is because the Kunkka's just absolutely destroying him in this game, which probably yeah. won't be happening. Uh, it's a very good matchup for the Storm. He's against a melee hero. He can always get the remnants and right-click with Overload. Uh, I do hope that he will farm. I We saw Mr. Jeans last game, like, he got involved quite a lot early game. But if he farms up to that Orchid, then, yeah, you can pressure up the AM. I'm really not a huge fan of Unknown's lineup. Like, I, 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 okay, we haven't casted... As much, you know, like in the past week, we cast it a lot. But if you cast it with me, you know that I'm a huge anti mage hater. Oh, like really? The past year. Yeah, actually, anti mage is one of my top like four or five most played heroes. And I understand this hero very well. And I think right now in Dota, like this hero is just awful. It has to be like the best AM game. And he picked AM into Ursa, which is one of the hardest countering carries. So the matchup right there is already awful for the AM. Yeah, so it's going to come down to the other four heroes to try and control that map and actually start team fights without him. We'll see what Burner Burner yeah. goes for. He's, AM's also one of my top played heroes, by the way. I think he's probably my <laughs> second most played after Invoker. He was a lot of fun back in the day. Nowadays, he I was. Get, he I, was. I've, I've not touched him in years, genuinely. Mm -hmm. That's because everybody's uh, anti-major Andy now. <laughs> anti-major Andy, yep. <laughs> Oh, the roll from Michael, straight through the middle of both of them. So Enchantress AM here against the Mars and Earth Spirit. As Burner already burning mana away from Michael. Mm-hmm. So... This is going to be a really tough lane for the Mars, no doubt about that. Earth Spirit just needs to pull the second creep wave, also block the camp, but he didn't pull the second creep wave. I have no idea why he didn't. 
Uh, but he does manage to block the camp. We've seen this a lot with Earth Spirit players, especially in the other regions. They will always go for the pull on the second wave because it's just too valuable to deny an entire creep wave against the enemy carry and get yourself level two. It sure is. In that mid lane, Storm Spirit playing under the Kunkers tier one tower for the past couple of seconds. Now the mm -hmm. wave in a more manageable place. Kunkers done reasonably well here, eight and one up against the Storm's even CS. Of course, with that Tidebringer, you're able to really secure range creeps. And bottom lane, the chase is on towards Beastmaster, but a great Fisher from Widge actually holds back the Ursa and the Witch Doctor. Yeah, they're not going to have too much aggression coming out from unknown bottom, I think, unless uh, Witch Doctor gets really out of position to get a Fisher block on him. Mm. For the most part, what we're going to see in this lane is the paralyzing cast coming out onto the boars, and the Ursa plus the Witch Doctor just trying to farm those boars up for the extra 60 XP that they give. And they've got a Maledict stun. Oh, that's a real swift TP. Clever stuff from the Earthshaker. But mid lane. Oh, the Kunker. One more remnant with the overload. Nope. Just fairy fires up. Mr. Jeans didn't even remnant for it. Yeah. I mean, Sorry. he doesn't want to... He knows that he's not going to get killed there. Under the tower, armor, HP regen. He calculated it. He knew. Dodging away from that torrent. And now with a Vortex. 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Puts a bit more damage towards him. Mr. Jeans. The harass never ends. Yeah, and Bottle's coming on Courier as well, so Storm's going to be able to refill nicely. Whereas Kunker, a bit what delayed is... going for the Bracer first. Mm -hmm. What is this random hawk that the Beastmaster has flown into the mid lane? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just watching Storm. Like, hey, hey, buddy. Just checking out how you're doing middle. You know, gets a little bit of extra pressure onto Robo Z. Knows that the Beastmaster is watching him. <laughs> and they know. Ma oh Ma boy. Oh, is Kunker. Kunker so close to death? Oh, one more remnant. Mr. Jeans. Oh. Another hit. Oh. No, just there enough. There it is. Redeemed for game one. Gets the first blood on his own. Solo kill first blood. Bottom lane, they do go back in on the Earthshaker. The cask bounces off the creeps. The Dark Troll's working against them, but the Beastmaster's going for a trade here. So even though the Earthshaker dies, Drakeel is able to get. A kill that he can claim as his own. Yeah, he's got a lot of creeps here too. Gonna pressure up the Ursa a little bit. I mean, those creeps do a lot of damage with the level 2 inner beast buffing them up. Yeah, and uh, an accidental pull into the camp as well. <laughs> yeah, helped him get a little bit more experience while the Earth Shaker is gone. Jaquil's gonna enjoy that quite a bit. Get his level 6 faster. He's gonna need that. Gets to level 6 faster, you know, maybe even fish Snacker book by then. Might be able to get some solo kills on the Ursa. It looks like the Kunker has called in for some assistance. Both supports from the Dire team come in to secure the runes, but Enchantress was forced to take it. So Kunker doesn't go... Yeah. He doesn't, he's got a full bottle already, but he doesn't get the refill. I mean, the, the main thing is you don't give the Storm Spear an Arcane rune or a double damage rune yeah. at 4 minutes because the moment he's level 6, this Kunkka just can't lane if that ever happens. Enchantress in a pretty cute place here. Could have maybe gone for a couple of Courier Snipes. Instead just tracking back on the Earth Spirit as Storm Spirit keeps pushing damage onto that Kunkka. It feels so bad as a mid laner when you're having to use bottle charges just to regen HP. Yeah, he's going that, to keep doing it. Not a very efficient use of the bottle, that's for sure. Mm, bounty runes coming up. Yodomi and Michael. Oh, Enchantress gets it mid kick. Ooh, they're gonna get three on the side of unknown. Anti mage also picks up a courier. Nice, nice. Good team plays from Burna Burna here. I mean, he's the highest CS leader at the moment. So he's doing very well for himself. And you need anti mish to be doing well in the laning stage. It's just a carry that has to do well in the laning stage. Oh, well, the Enchantress is going to pay for her insolence. Following the Earth Spirit around and Storm, the big brother, who comes in to secure a kill on him. <laughs> Whoa, what, what do you mean big brother? Earth Spirit younger than the Storm? Is this yeah, lore? Yeah, sure. Storm's been around longer than Earth Spirit. Okay, I mean, so it's not lore, this is just your lore. It's Got my it. lore, yeah. You, I mean, you make it up as you go <laughs> along, you know? You say something on a stream, you say something in a Dota broadcast that becomes canon immediately. There's nothing <laughs> Valve can do about it. Just try it, Theban. I, um, okay. 
No, you don't. You don't. At yeah. some point, you could just say Kunk is your brother. Easy. Kunk is my. Yeah. Kunk. Oh, witch doctor. He looks like he's in a lot of trouble here. Oh, but the cask bounces are so oh, good. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it does really nice. But Level... he, doesn't, he doesn't even launch the fissure too. Oh, focus angel instead. They still have the centaur war stomp, but they don't get it off in time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he. I, I don't think he even tried to get it off. He definitely would have hit the Ursa if he clicked the war stomp. Maybe he just didn't notice when the uh, cast stun was going to come off the centaur. Storm with a regen rune. <laughs> he was hunting for stacks, but I think he oh, knows yeah. where the Kunker is. Still has the regen going. Bursting through the Kunker, the Fisher arrives, and Robo Z under the remnant oh, still boy. dies. A killing spree for Mr. Jeans. 3 nil start out of this wow. mid lane for your Storm Spirit. The Orchid timing. It's coming, Thieven. <laughs> And I'm feeling really pretty nice. good with the lowest time on the board right now. Storm zips in onto Enchantress. Yodomi has the Centaur stomp, but a cast comes, and that's it. Lights out for Enchantress, and a Centaur kill as well. 56 more gold. Yes, Mr. Jeans. I want to mention, um, he zipped in on that Kunkka blind. He just expected the Kunkka to be on that camp, and the Kunkka pinged out like on the hill that there's a ward there. Mm -hmm. But that was just Mr. Jeans making some clutch plays, getting the read right on the Kunkka. Yeah, because he got the regen rune, he checked the medium camp and then the large camp in the jungle. So he checked two camps and he's like, hmm, where could that Kunkka be? Process of elimination. Down goes the Witch Doctor. Drakiel there with a roar. And of course these boars helping out. So the Damn game it. starting to really feed into that anti-mage 1 versus 5 scenario. The story, it's, it's already yeah. unraveling, isn't it? It's not a good situation for anti-mage because that means Dire Team is not going to be able to make enough space when the anti-mage uh, has the Battle Fury. It's actually the weakest time for anti-mage is when he has the Battle Fury and he's trying to get to that Manta. Yeah. Because uh, at that point, all of Radiant Heroes would have their mid-game items and they're going to constantly run at your team and your team needs to be able to hold their ground. They were so Until close with that roll. Enchantress with the stick charges. Ursa's still chasing with the Enrage under tower. Angel, we've seen how this has gone in the past, though, with a Fisher blocking him up. And Kunka arriving. Ursa may have gone a step too far. Torrent, well placed. Lands straight on the teddy bear. The Cask and Maledict do catch Drakeel, but I don't have any more follow-through until the Storm is here with an Arcane Rune. In they come. The X in the boat. They will come landing, crashing into the shores of the Earth Spirit. But Storm is still around. Arcane ruined up, and he desperately wants There's to take down this Beastmaster. Though. Oh, Drakeel, he's being shredded, but you're right. This Necrobook and the damage from the Kunk and the Enchantress take down Mr. Jeans. His streak is gone. 400 gold has... into the pockets of Yodomi as they get the Witch Doctor as well. Unknown that comes straight back into it. it. Yeah, I mean, he he had no business zipping back in there for that Beastmaster kill. Like, he was like, oh, I have an Arcane Rune. I could probably solo these guys. Did not account for the Necrobook that's going to be sitting on him and burning his mana as he's fighting. Even the anti has come down to join the fun. Leaving Mariana yeah, alone in that to... top lane. He was hoping that... He pushed mid out and then he came bottom, maybe hoping that he can get a mana void on the Storm. If he got a kill on the Storm when he has a 5 kill streak, that's going to catapult him into his Battle Fury even faster. Yeah, but instead, well, it was the Enchantress, right? That got the 400 gold. <laughs> yeah. So she'll be able to afford boots. Your Domi can buy boots now. Yay! Boots Enchantress. Here we go. Spronking along. You <laughs> 10 minutes in. The excitement is unreal, <laughs> Gary. Forget your battle fury. I've got little booties. <laughs> Death oh, Ward. Z. Oh, if that cast could bounce <laughs> back like, into him. All right. But the storm is coming. He's looking for different target, though. They're going to pick off the Enchantress instead. Torrent does clip two of them. Earthshake is coming, lining up a Fisher. That's a full HP storm. But surely, surely, even with the roar. Oh, all with right. the Anti-Mage, mm -hmm. they do take him uh -huh. down. Mr. Jeans. There it is. There is that kill the AM was hoping for with this Mana Void. That's going to give him a little bit of a boost. He's going to be happy with that. I mean, the play onto the Bounty Rune was nice to get the edge, but you got to get out right away, man. You can't just stick around like that. That was just a little too aggressive on the Storm and the Earth Spirit. They're running out of gas. It looked like they had plenty of time to get out of there. But that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that knowledge that Kunker is less than half HP after a full Death Ward Maledict, Witch Doctor is probably making the call that they can go for more. Aiming for the anti-mage top. Oh, Mariano. That's not how you start. Burner just blinks out of the pit. Out of the Coliseum. 
Storm zipping onto the Enchantress mid. Mr. Jeans goes towards Yadomi. That is a, such a simple, easy kill. Level 10 Storm straight on top of the Enchantress. And Orchid is ready. 11 minutes. Does, wait, does it count when he buys it or when it lands on him? Oh, uh, when it lands on him. Okay, well, I win anyway. Unless his, if his courier dies, I'm, I'm rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> what was your number? 1148. Oh, nice. I don't know why I, mean, I win. Why did this enchantress have to die right there? <laughs> what? 11.32 is the time on the clock. Yeah, good job, Gary. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this random enchantress will be the mid. <laughs> As soon as the storm respawns. It probably, it probably would have been you. You or Trent probably would have been the winners if that Enchantress hadn't died. And there's the Orchid already paying off dividends, showing itself in tremendous fashion on the Anti-Mage. And Burner, mm -hmm. even now, without Battle Fury, going to be feeling oh, worse no, he, wear. This is, I'm gonna, I'm just going to call it. This game is like looking all infamous here. I'm not, I'm not, no, I don't mean like I'm going to call it like day one, but I'm saying for Unknown to come back from this position where the Storm gets this fast of an Orchid and Anti-Mage still doesn't have Battle Fury, it's a freaking damn hard task. This storm, all he's gonna think about is catching the AM from now on out. Yeah, especially when you've got multiple heroes who need their item timings, right? Because yeah. when you're behind and you have AM who needs to farm jungle and lane for Battle Fury, Earthshaker needs a lane for Blink Dagger, Kunkka and Beastmaster both still don't have their real primary item. Oh, that's a great position from the Witch Doctor. Cask and Maledict with a Death Ward down. Michael rolls in. A lot of dire heroes in the vicinity, though, and it looks like Earth Spirit's been baited, actually, by his Witch Doctor as their backup wasn't coming. Yeah, you're completely right. Shaker is one of the worst heroes to actually pair up with AM, although he has plenty of stuns. Um, anti mage just takes up all the possible farm, and Shaker is not going to have too much room except for farming the hard lane, which is always typically going to get him killed because teams are not going to hesitate to jump in their Shaker before a dagger. And you're probably wishing as Kunky you bought a Midas or something because he's not going to get too much farm. Beastmaster shoving lanes, Earth Shaker AM taking everything else. Good little D-Ward mid from Enchantress, but she was down in the river on that low ground, allowing Storm and the Mars to follow through on Earth Spirit. I want to see them take this mid tower on the side of Infamous. This is really going to open up the map, but it doesn't really look like they have any intentions to do so right now. Yeah, Storm is looking. Anyone here? You no, know, Coach Gary, you're getting better. See? You even got the timing on the Orchid. What's next? What are you going to call next, buddy? I don't, I don't know. We'll see how things go. You know, maybe maybe if we shift things around, I get on panel for a bit, I'll call some heroes in the draft. That's no worries. Damn. I'll just say life stealer every 20 seconds. Storm force, double damage. <laughs> call out the gyro position four. Okay, we're going to stop railing on Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> it's going too far. Smoke up from unknown. They need to try and break the rut that they're in right now. They've got everything they need. Outside of the Earthshaker Blink, it's just this raw, the Kunker combos, starting out with an X onto Witch Doctor. It's a very, very mild kill if they go for it, and they're kind of committing Ooh. with the raw, they'll yeah, find it. A... Mm -hmm. Pretty big committal, to be honest. <laughs> Mr. Jeans just chilling. You okay there, Mr. Jeans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets a love tap onto the Kunker. Yeah, he's good. Is he going to ball lightning out of it? No, still gets clipped by the torrent. But again, it's very... Damn. What's he up to? He got the top bounty. He got the top bounty. Ooh, they got nice. three bounties on the side of it, Unknown. Although they don't really feel too strong right now, and Roar was on cooldown, they managed to get three bounties. It's really good. But yeah, Storm, though, he's making his way towards the AM. He wants to cut him off. He knows that Unknown, the four heroes on the bottom side, so naturally AM is playing away. And there it is. Gonna zip in. Orchid. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they saw that courier deliver something to the AM. A lot of damage from Mr. Jeans. That oh, Fisher, though, enough. and the turnaround. Oh. Earthshaker's here too late. The mana void from oh. Burner with the help of Witch's Earthshaker. Maledict, the Echo Slam, trading places now as the stuns connect to Mariano and Axel. Stomp from Centaur. The neutrals are helping them out, and they've got an X back into the boat. Mariano gets crashed upon, and Robo Z's there with the Tide Hunter Cleave to actually take down pretty much everyone from this excursion party of Infamous dying. 
Oh, wow. Man, that... I I've seen that too many times. The storm zips in onto the AM. Right? AM just fights him back. Doesn't get that last bit of damage. And then dies to the mana void. And now all of a sudden, Anti-Mage is gonna leapfrog him in net worth. And get to his manta even faster. And that's what's going on right now. He's at 7,200 net worth on AM. He's feeling quite good. I think the problem there was he didn't zip all the way on top of the AM there. Like he he just zipped in, casted Orchid, was not able to uh, get a remnant on the zip in too, which is very awkward. Um, I think he just executed poorly. That was a short kill. Yeah, he did like a little little hop, skip, and a jump. Went for the triple jump play instead of the long jump. Mm -hmm. even, even with that observer board watching, they couldn't quite capitalize on their vision. What are we seeing from Unknown? Because we, we know the Earthshaker, the AM, what builds they're going for. Kunker, Sanj into BKB, Beastmaster, Necrobook, and back into FaZe, and I don't know, do you go Solar Crest on Drakeel? Blink Dagger? What are your options as these two melee kind of space makers? Uh, hold, hold, hold your thought. He got the Enrage off. At the very least, Ursa is going to try and make a meal out of this fight. And with the Arena, it's a decent looking one as well. But the Ursa's running, he's not fighting. Angel is out of there, maybe has to turn around now as the Maledict and the Death Ward come, magnetized up. Unknown are on the run, they've found the pick off of oh, Angel. The Necro. They kill off the oh. Ursa because of the Necro book and the Anti-Mage silent stuff, so he can't give chase. Storm Spirit, low mana. They need a stun, something to catch him. Gets off the counter spell, the casks are bouncing. Oh, Multiple wow, of them, and Mr. Jean's down to the level two mana void. AM is now here to play, putting on a show. Burner, burner. Maledicted up, he can't really go for this, can he? It's spooky. There's still an Earth Spirit lurking, but the mana pools of these Radiant Heroes so incredibly low, they can't continue fighting, and they've got an X Mark Torrent. Mariano caught up in it, and your dummy's there with some great impetus hits to take down the Mars. Bottom yeah, I mean that Ursa, as soon as I saw him turn on that Beastmaster and the Beastmaster dropped the Necrobooks, he saw that coming a million miles away, but he's gonna pop that Necrobook because of the uh, Fury, sw uh, sorry, the uh, Battle Fury. <laughs> they just died like that. Leaving the Necro Warrior. Yep, and another kill for the Anti-Mage onto the Storm with his Mana Void. I mean, things are starting to look uh, a little disastrous for Infamous because his AM is about to get to his uh, Manta style and they have not gotten another kill on him. I think the problem for Infamous is they're not pushing lanes out enough while letting the Storm stay like off map or even smoking into the Anti-Mage with just two heroes. Their prediction skills right now on the side of Infamous is just not so good as a team. And uh, yeah, they, they just need this Mars and Ursa to constantly be pushing lanes out. They don't all need to stay off the map. Yeah, and seven minutes after the Orchid, Mr. Jeans has upgraded his treads. That's pretty much it. Yeah, not Mr. Not, Jeans. Um, not too much in the way of item progression. Not only that, he's also gave away two kills to the AM, which is the worst thing you could possibly do as a Storm Spirit. And just from those like little scrappy fights, you know, Earthshaker's caught up, got his Blink Dagger ready, so this Blink Echo Slam is now a massive threat to the Radiant Heroes pre-BKB. Kunker nearly has his BKB on the Dire Side as well. Uh, it looks like Beastmaster there. Buys up a Buckler, so he's got himself Phase Boots, Necro Book. And I guess that's going to be a Vlads for Beastmaster. Give the Vlads to you, uh, help your AM with the Vlads. Yeah, goodbye. Just at this point in the game, all you have to do is just buff up your anti-mage in the team fights. You don't really have to do anything else. I mean, they've done a good job of buying the correct items to do that so far. Pretty much everything's going on the AM, right? You vote on your AM, you blink echo yeah. on your AM. Whoever's whoever's near that anti-mage, gotta think twice. Great Fisher Ursa? started off. And Chant Totem, the Echo Slam, the Chain Stones, the Disables on the Earth with the Roar on the Boat! Beautiful execution started off by that Earthshaker without even needing to blink Echo, just walks it into the Ursa Warrior. Yeah, Infamous, they need to learn that when you carry TPs on the other side of the map where you know the enemy might be, you need support to TP with him on the tier 2 tower at least, so you get that counter initiation off right away. They didn't have a Mars, they didn't have an Earth Spirit to roll in in silence or anything like that. Ursa just died in that, like, what, six seconds of disables that came out on him? Yeah, it's, it's that point you made, right, about that cohesion, the synergy between kind of making the calls, mm -hmm. making predictions, and being together when you're executing whatever plan comes from it. 
Beastmaster gets the D-Ward out, the Mars Arena onto Kunkka. Earthshaker made his way out of the Colosseum though, and the Maledict only catching Robo Z. They need more damage to be pushed towards him, but he's got his BKB. Unknown are able to bait out some big spells there, and they don't even lose their Enchantress. Yodomi just they don't. glimmer capes, gets out back I mean, to the tier one. The Ench is a great hero against Storm as well. It's got magic resistance, you can't really attack with your overload. I hope Ench is the last hero you should be focusing if you're infamous. <laughs> You really can't be going on him. You gotta kill the beast or the Earthshaker or something like that. Kuka also has a BKB now, so he's not really afraid of anything. Until the Ursa shows up into the fights. True, true. 21 minutes in, finally, a tier 1 mid does finally fall. That mid tier 1, you're talking about the Radiant needing to push waves. You know, it's been on low HP for a long time, but they've never managed to finish it off. Anti-mage. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, super online now. Super online. Oh, I'm getting to his um, basher next. Oh, it is 3 a.m. My Manta Radiance style is here. Is Doing Roche. Oh, scan on the Roche pit. Dire the Dire, no. Roche is very low, though, and they are taking a while to get across here, even with the smoke. Aegis picked up by the Ursa. Oh, good call from Infamous, seeing that Unknown were all on the bottom side of the map. Jumping into the Roshan pit with the Ursa, he really needed this extra life. Angel's been having a really rough day, man. I don't know if he's been having a rough day or maybe he's just not an Ursa player. But one, one of the two. You would kind of expect picking Ursa twice in a row in a series. Uh, he'd be an Ursa player, but yeah, maybe he's just having a rough one. Robo Z just going to X mark himself back as he thought about clearing the mid wave. But it's such a strong vanguard for the AM. Like this daisy chain of heroes, you know, AM Enchantress and Ch uh, Beastmaster, Earthshaker, the all shield. holding. Yeah. The, yeah. That front line. Middle tower has been denied. Not like the AM needs it anyway anymore. <laughs> He's become almost impossible to catch at this point. Burna Burna has been playing very well this game. Just understanding when he can get caught, not giving the opportunities to Infamous. His individual skill really showing in this game. Yeah, because we've seen him do pretty well on Wraith King, right? That, that's been a hero that every carry player has put forward solid performances on because it is reasonably straightforward. But mm -hmm. this anti-mage performance, the, the game one Wraith King different build performance was also pretty spectacular from him. And it really is just this systematic move across the map where unknown they're dewarding everything. There is no, like, no vision out there for the Radiant in regular places. They're having to find little hidey holes to keep observers up. And Necker units all over the map. On oh, a boar. Denying the double damage rune. You know, Gary, when I watch these South American teams, they really, really remind me a lot of like Southeast Asian like playstyle, especially like from a couple of years back. Um, and the thing that those teams miss the most was like a good leader, in-game leader, or like a cat, or, or like a coach, you know, who's who can teach them all the um, macro things of the game. Because watching these South American players, like they're really high skilled. They can cast their spells. They know how to do all that. Oh wow, that's a commitment. Oh, boy. Kunka gets his BKB off in time, but they have made the jump with the Ursa into the back lines. They got the Beastmaster down, and Chantress and Kunka still battling with Mars. Mariano still alive as the Storm zips into the Earthshaker, stopping the Blink Echo play, and we're just gone. Two immediate snap pickoffs by Infamous and Unknown are on the run. Yodomi's and Chantress eaten up and gobbled by the Ursa, while the Kunka doesn't have any more stuns. Another roll in a second, no but the TP out does get him out of there. And Anti Mage, yep, take a peek towards him. He is wave cutting. There we go. I mean, these are the kind of moves I was expecting when anti mage just had a Battle Fury. Infamous just had to group up, you know, push some lanes out, then group up, run at them. Unknown is going to be fighting 4 versus 5 regardless. They get it now, though, at least, so better, ne better late than never. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, into your point about uh, you know, coaching and having a, an in-game leader, how, how much of... You know, taking a high-skilled player and turning them into a, you know, competitive, top-level Dota 2 gamer. How, how much of it is... Oh, hang on a second. Storm Spirit? You should, you should be okay here. Yeah. How, how much of it is breaking bad habits? Because there's, there's one thing to learn something new and 
now have it added to your repertoire, but it's a complete different thing unlearning something that you've you know, built up for yourself and then relearning oh, for something sure. new. It's, yeah, that's also extremely important. Even nowadays, um, a lot of the old older players, they still do the same exact mistakes because, you know, at some point they were molded learning that those things were the right things to do. Well, Storm zipped in deep. They expended the Mars yeah, Arena and Mariano's on. down. Mr. Jeans with a BKB and a Death Ward backing him up has Angels Urso running forward and Infamous. They're the ones on the aggressive. They want to try and catch Drakeel. The Yules is there and Michael misses his roll, but they still catch the Beastmaster with a nice Earth Shock and Angel Angels chasing Enchantress. Right he is angry. He wants the Ench under the tier three and Angel will get it. A triple yeah. kill coming out of Infamous in the two fights in a row looking spot on as the blink from Ursa gets him away from the X Torrent. Mm, this uh, Aegis has really given Angel a mental reset in this game from whatever's been happening and he's felt very confident. Oh, they're gonna catch the AM. Oh, they are. Ash. Stopped his TP. Gets a counter spell Huge off, kill. but he's still dead. Silenced up and killed. So that, that's, a, that's a big five man wipe. Yeah, very, very big. A uh, good thing AM couldn't get a mana void off on that storm. That would, that could have been dangerous. Kill the entirety of Infamous with that one mana void. But you are you are right. That Aegis gave them a new lease of life. And the BKBs help out too on Storm and Ursa. And we still have sure seen these teams. Like would learn some more of the macro things of Dota. Like my goodness, they would be absolutely incredible teams. Like just watching, just watching these players and how they can play and how they're able to like catch or do things individually. Just need someone to band these guys together. Coach Steven, job opening for you. <laughs> Get in there. Well, nah, nah, this is definitely something for Coach Gary. That's for sure. you know, <laughs> they, they need someone to tell them, chin up, boys. Chin up, boys. Everything's fine. Just a boat landing on you. Killing off Mariano is a bit of a struggle, though, into that bulwark, and he's got his God's Arena down. Mr. Jeans, that's an enchantress. Yodomi falling quickly as Angel. He gets the blink jump, the roll back. Drakeel fighting an enraged Ursa, though, has to run away. And this Earthshaker, he doesn't Damn. have blink, so there's no return play, no blink echo for three more seconds. Infamous are all grouped up. He fakes out the mana oh, void. BKB. The BKBs are still there from Mr. Jeans. Ursa speared up, trapped in that fissure. Echo slam and the kill on Ursa. It's coming, but the Yules on the anti mages delayed the inevitable death of the teddy bear as Michael rolls up northwards. Still in a bit of trouble as the mana void stops his roll to high ground and the anti mage should be able to claim his prize. There it is, Unknown getting that confidence back once the Ursa's Aegis is out. I think their communication on Unknown was like, guys, just wait for the Aegis to run out and then we can fight. But uh, they fed away a lot of kills during that time, which gave some momentum for Infamous. But now that the Ursa is dead off the map, still a little bit ways away from the Abyssal Blade, Unknown is going to be able to just push out all these lanes and get on the aggressive and hopefully control up Roshan again. Does, uh, does status resistance work against Halberd? Sorry, what was that? Does status resistance work against Halberd? See, it doesn't yeah. work against Yules, right? Oh, hang on a second. Mariano, that jump, Abyssal Blade. They get him with the stuns. He's got no mana left. And the boat will come crashing down again for RoboZ getting a dominating streak. Oh, he should be way more careful than that when you have two, two of your teammates dead. He can't be sitting in front of your tower. You got to be back inside of your base because now that's another 40 seconds on the Mars. Ursa's going to be up, but they're not going to be able to do any aggressive plays because four, four versus five. And yes, to your point, it does work. Okay. Status resistance against Halberd. So the Ursa, if he gets his enrage off in time, that Halberd's not going to last too long. Mm -hmm. Halberd overall is just a really nice item. I think on Koka. Really good against um, Storm as well. Storm does plenty of right clicks. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's easy to forget. Like, uh, the majority of his damage is right clicks, right? Like 60% of his damage. Overload, the yeah. Overload and damage, yeah. Roshan, what's you the know, damage? Two minutes on the spawn. Man, this Storm though, Mr. Jeans, he had a great start, but those deaths have really costed him a lot. He didn't really prioritize his farm anymore after that. Um, I would love to see him get to level 25, get that Overlord attack mounts, and then the Electric Rave. Oh, it's such a sweet combo, honestly. 
Electric rave. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad people stopped going to 600 ball lightning distance thing. The auto roller. And Chandra's a bit far forward. Sniped out by Infamous, and they actually roll connect on the Beastmaster, the boat here, to try and save them up. But the arena comes down from Mars, and anti -Mate trying to focus the Yule Stuff Earth Spirit. Not ideal, but Kunker can BKB. He's got a real big tanky build with the Heart of Tarask all completed, and there's just no killing this man. A jump in from the Earth Ursa. Ursa. the back, though, oh, finding the Ursa Warrior. Up. That's the Blink Echo. Ursa found on the outskirts of town. An unknown. They are hunting the bandits of Infamous with another great jump from Widge. They get the two-man enchant totem. Cask and Maledict is bouncing around, but Witch Doctor, even under that Glimmer Cape, they find him. Storm Spirit, what's up with him? He's got no mana. AM just bashing him, toying with him, playing with his food, and Kunker fake pumping a torrent. Another spectacular fight for Team Unknown. So what happened there was Ursa was actually looking for the perfect target to jump. He was waiting and very patiently uh, jumps in onto the Shaker, but Shaker was already using his oh, Fisher AM. while he was blinking. The AM finds Michael deep in his base. Five-man wipe as Burner Burner dominating. Goes for tier threes now and unknown. On the cusp of winning this series two to nothing. Yep. That's gonna be at least two sides of racks here. I mean, they got the tier two bottom, so can't really get a third side. So did the Ursa get spotted by one of those three wards in the jungle? Nah, yeah, there was, there was a ward that was watching him, but um, he was trying to jump the Shaker as soon as he saw him ah. and got fissured while he was blinking in. So he blinked on top of the Shaker, got stunned, and the AM helped the Shaker. They just dropped all their disables. Ursa wasn't even able to get a BKB or an Enrage off. Some rough stuff. And now in a great spot in the Radiant Triangle, knowing that Roshan is likely alive again. Unknown oh, trying to take the second Roshan. Something that Infamous desperately need to stop. Can they get there in time though? Roshan sitting at about half HP. Someone's got a Cloak of Flames, Kunker. Burning into Roshan, the scan from Dyer up on the high ground, knows the Radiant are on their way. And Enchantress there with a Centaur. Actually stops their advance towards the pit. Force the Earth Spirit to roll out, but the arena into the Abyssal Blade on Angel. AM pops the counter spell and the jump again. The Earth is trying to focus in towards Robozy's Kunker, but That's he's so boat. bloody tanky. He's invincible right now. Earth Spirit's gone too deep, and Michael, the impetus shot, it flies, but dodged by the Yule Scepter. AM jumps back in, the roar onto Ursa. He doesn't have enrage anymore, no BKB, and that's the end of his story. Down for 80 seconds as the fight continues. Mars, he's left alone, and this AM from Burner Burner, you may not like the hero, but he has put on a beautiful performance here. The anti mage show coming to a close as GG is called, and Infamous tap out of the series. Just like that. I mean, you're right, he has put on a show on this anti mage. He's done a lot of good work and uh, made sure he didn't die to the storm. Very well played from Unknown, just holding the fort while anti -Mage just had to get his items. Infamous, all I can say for them is you guys got to play more like a team. I think Unknown just were a much better team today. Uh, I had high expectations from Infamous, especially after beating out Thunder Predator. And the way they beat Thunder Predator was like, well, you know, these guys, they can really have a shot. Uh, but watching this series, you know, maybe they were a little too confident or something like that.